Hello everyone, welcome to Link Frequency and I'm Ashwarya Patta. Let's continue to understand about ECU flash programming. In our previous video, we understood about control DTC settings. If you have not watched that video, then you can surely watch it from our playlist. There are several steps that are involved in ECU flash programming, which we are discussing individually. So without any further delay, let's move on to our next step that is nothing but default session as highlighted on the screen. The diagnostic session control that is default session 1001 is a UDS service request that tests the ECU to switch to its default diagnostic session. The purpose of using 1001 in the flash programming is as follows. Firstly, it ends the programming session 1002 after flashing and launches the new flash software. Secondly, it restores the normal ECU behavior and enables the standard diagnostics. Lastly, it secures the ECU by disabling access to sensitive services. Well, let us move ahead and try to understand this bit more clearly. The tester sends the request using the command 1001. Here, 10 represents the service identifier for diagnostic session control and 01 represents the sub-function that is nothing but default session. The responses received from the ECU includes positive response 5001 indicating positive acknowledgement and the negative response that is nothing but 7 of 10 followed by the error. Just for our reference, let us consider the negative response as 7F1022, where 22 represents conditions not correct. Well, this was the last step of ECU flash programming. I hope this walkthrough gave you a clear understanding about the ECU flash programming sequence. If you found the video insightful, make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on the other automotive contents. Watch the complete playlist and let us know your feedbacks and suggestions. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.